Yo, 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 CPA Strength here, back with another video. This is a highly requested video. This is about a getting a 1099 and what you would do with that. So I'm trying to, I tried a new, new program and everything and we'll get into it. Here's the new, the new postcard, what they're calling the new tax return for 2018, I guess beyond now. It is just simply um, the first first page is uh, uh, whether your your filing status, your name, your address, different different stuff. But the the meat the meat and potatoes of the tax return is on the second page here, and it is just 23, 23 lines. It's been like 74 lines before, and really the only the only thing that I put in, I, f I filled out a Schedule C, and that's what you would do if you get a 1099. That means you worked, what is a 1099? A 1099 is if you worked for someone during the year and they did not take taxes out. You're an independent contractor. Meaning you're you're self-employed, and that that being self-employed is gonna bite you in the butt. Now we'll go over everything, but I just want to show you we made in this uh, in this example, you got a you got a 1099 for thirty thousand dollars. I kept it easy, and then we had deductions of ten thousand dollars to make it a twenty thousand dollar profit of your business income. Now think about it from your employer from the employer standpoint they didn't have to do anything but cut you a check. Now you got to do all this work. Um, you know if, and if you get a w, if you get a W2 you can pretty much go on any tax software a free file. You can uh, almost probably just do it yourself. The calculations are rather easy. Now for this look at all these calculations you just you just uh, input it into one, you know, that you made $20,000 and all these different calculations. Um, you know, so you're going to have, you, I would, I would suggest if you get a 1099, I would really suggest you go, you go to a tax professional and get this done and get your tax return done because the errors you could make, the deductions you can have and um, you know, we got this new one, a uh, qualified business income this year. And, uh, so the common, commonly common question I get is, do you have to file a separate tax return? Now, if you get like, how do I, how do I file a 1099? It's still always, it's on the 1040. If you get if you get money to your social security, whether it's, you can have one, two, three, four, five W-2s. You can have one, two, three, four, or five schedule C's. It doesn't matter. If it's to your social security number, you're going to file one 1040. Now, if you get, if you get a, uh, you're not going to get a W-2, not to your social security number, but if you get a 1099 to an EIN number to your business, you might or might not have to uh, file a separate tax return. If it depends how that business is, is uh, being taxed because it could, it could be a disregard entity and it'd be on a 1040. But if if it's sent if a 1099 sent an EIN number, it could be taxed as a as an S corp. It could be taxed as a C corp or a partnership. Don't know. So basically, if you if you got a 1099 and you had twenty thousand dollar profit, you're gonna owe three thousand three hundred and fifty four. So let's just go over let's just go over the 1099. And or the tax let's go over the tax return here and how did this come about? The first thing on here is 
$20,000 on line 6, and that came about from schedule 1, line 22. Now they just, they just put 6 new schedules in this year. So let's go to schedule 1, line 22. Here's the schedule 1, line 22. This 20000 right here. Mind me, this is the first year out of my 8 years of tax preparing that they're doing a new schedule. So it came from this it came from this 20,000 from the schedule C. Where is the schedule C? Okay. Here is the schedule C. Now I thought this would be you got your 1099 for $30,000. That's how much your 30 you got it for $30,000. I just randomly put a $10,000 in this expenses. You might have more or you might have less expenses. I don't know. A whole bunch of expenses are up here. I just wanted to show you that you'd have. I just want to show you the layout of this. So you'd have a twenty twenty thousand dollar profit from your so thirty thousand minus ten thousand expenses. Now whatever your ten ninety nine says, that's being furnished to the IRS. So you would have to put that in the income. So you have $20,000 $20, of net profit on your uh, Schedule C. Schedule C, see profit or loss from business. So that that is where this number comes from on the Schedule 1, the Schedule C from the Schedule 1, and that flows through. Every, all the numbers flow through to these 20 to this to this one page of tax returns here everything flows in all the different schedules flow through to this page here so this is where this 20,000 flows in from now you get half off uh, half off of your self-employment tax which is down here deducted from your adjusted gross income so we're not really going to go. We're not going to go over that, but that bring that brings your income down to eighteen five eight seven. All right, it it is down in uh, here. This fourteen deductible part of self employment tax. It just reduces your income by fourteen uh, fourteen hundred dollars. Now you get your standard deduction. See, all your incomes would have been in here. Whether you see if you, so, I've gotten a question before. What if I have a W two and a and a ten ninety nine? Do I have to do two separate tax returns? No, they're both going to be on this one tax return. So now we have our twelve thousand dollar standard deduction because we're single. See, we're single right here, and uh, yeah, we were single. So we have twelve. $12,000 standard deduction. Now, this new part, this is why I say uh, pass through entities and Schedule C businesses have this new new uh, jobs cut feature, which is qualified business income. And that could be 20% 20, 20 of your. Uh, pass through income so so it could be 20 percent of your adjusted gross income but it's after deductions and everything so we'll go we'll go to the sheet but it, you basically got um 1317 dollars from a qualified business income deduction and this is brand new so we you've got the standard deduction doubled this year and you got qualified business income deduction which is brand new and we can go over that this is why i say if if you have a schedule c you, you i would say go to a professional tax preparer who has the software to do this because they're not going to do it by hand but you know are you going to do this by yourself good luck i mean god bless you if you do but i would say just take it to a professional and you know uh, they might charge uh, two hundred dollars to do a Schedule C, but you know it's done right, and you get all your deductions. 
so you get thir- you get thirteen hundred and seventeen dollars qualified business income deduction. That's twenty percent of sixty five eighty seven, which is your income after your standard deduction. So there's a lot of different things in play. So no, you don't get if you had uh, if you had more income. Like if you had W two income, you could get up to thirty seven hundred dollars off for your qualified business income deduction. But that's not the case. So you get thirteen hundred and seventeen dollars qualified business income deduction. And this is all these forms here. All these forms is because now if you just had if you just had a W two, there's no more because I did a tax return with a W two. You'd put your W-2 income right here. You'd put your federal federal tax withheld right here. And then that's it. There would be no other other forms. That's why with a, a 1099, you know, the employer's kind of putting the onus on you. Because now you have to, I would say, get a professional to do your tax return. Or I'm not sure on the free softwares, I think they would charge if you have a, a Schedule C on there. Um, but so just having, having the schedule C, you're going to have, you're going to have the schedule one, you're going to have a schedule four, you're going to have a schedule C, you're going to have a schedule SE, all these different forms, all these different forms. Anyways, where were, so I've been, I've been super excited. My clients have been super excited about, um, a lot of my clients have S corps, and they've been super excited to get this qualified business in income deduction. It's awesome. That's all I'm going to say is it's awesome. So after your standard deduction, your qualified business income deduction, your half of a self employment deduction, you're down to taxable income of five thousand two hundred and seventy. Um, looks like ten percent of that is your tax so this is the tax you owe off your income 528 now here is the kicker about why if you get if you've been getting 1099 all year you have to pay pretty much 15 percent in self-employment tax this is the tax you would owe the self-employment tax and see it doesn't matter how many deductions you have or anything you could you could owe zero tax but you'd still owe self-employment taxes is still 15 percent of your profit it's not quite 15 percent but it almost is would 15 percent of 20,000 would be 3,000 so you almost owe 3,000 in self-employment tax it's a little bit less because they deducted that 1400 before but this is the kicker. Why is it 15%? Because you're considered self-employed. Now, this is this is another part where the employer put the onus on you and said, "Hey, you're an independent contractor. You're not an employee." Because you, uh, for those of you who have gotten a, a W-2 before or been an employee and gotten a paycheck, you don't get. The um, Social Security and Medicare, they take out 7.65% of your paycheck for that. And your employ- your employer matches that. You don't notice that. You just get your paycheck with uh, 7.65 taken out for Social Security and Medicare. They also take out federal withholdings too. Um, but your employer has to match that 7.65%. So you got you got money coming out for them too. So it's expensive to run payroll. Plus you have to probably have a payroll company. So it's expensive to run payroll. So it's a lot easier for them to just say, hey, you're an independent contractor, you deal with it. But now since you're self-employed, you, you have to match that 7.65. So that's where the 15% comes from. Uh, so, you would owe, 
528 in tax and then 20 28 two thousand eight hundred and twenty six dollars in, in self-employment tax so if you if you if you made in 2018 if you were single and you profited twenty thousand dollars from your schedule c 1099 independent contractor business you would owe three thousand three hundred and fifty four dollars to the irs and that's that um well i guess i should have said this before because no one's still still around comment like share subscribe if you want me to do a scenario i can and anyways y'all have a great day and pay those taxes <laughs> anyways peace out man laters